What's up, people? Uh, Mike here. <clears throat> and this is Infamous Second Son, Expert Difficulty with Good Karma. Uh, this is the Heaven's Hellfire mission. Uh, and this is when we take on Eugene, or his... Uh, I forget what his... His made-up boss name is. I in his video created world uh, the biggest annoyance with this this whole fight is uh, the the lava um, it doesn't immediately kill you but if you're getting hit by the boss at the same time uh, he can fuck you up pretty bad um, the other thing uh, don't Oh, he who dwells. That's the 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 name of his his made up boss character. Uh, I basically wasted two of the missiles because uh, he actually hadn't fully formed yet. <clears throat> um, until he actually actually uh, physically forms, like he is now, uh, using the missiles doesn't do anything. Um, but. If you, I think it, you just need to hit him twice with the missiles, and it'll kick you back out to the the hideout, and you just need to then move to the next location to come back in here. Um, one of the things I ended up learning that I didn't know about um, for this area, you need to get his health down to about half before you get kicked back out to uh, the hideout again. Apparently when you do enough damage to him and he uh, splits up into the, the individual angels and like the platforms change and he moves to the next location. Apparently if you shoot the angels as they're flying away or flying to the, the next area they actually will do damage to his overall health which I never really thought to do um, but basically I you can get his health down to past half before you get kicked out of uh, this place into the real world before you move to the, the third point to re-enter this so like right now I could be shooting the angels and actually be taking his health down more but it was never a thought of oh let me shoot the angels um, I don't even think I did that on my normal playthrough I think I just focused on when he had fully formed and um, the other thing I would say uh, I would stick to just smoke during this entire fight mainly because of the way your dash is on Neon. Nine times out of ten you end up just dive bombing into the lava and um, like I was there I nearly died in the lava because of instead of you know I got knocked off and then I just dove right into the lava like head first so um, I would definitely s probably stick to smoke for the most part of this uh, this whole battle, but um, especially since um, moving from uh, one of these streams that shoots you up in the air, um, having the the smoke dash actually uh, makes getting to the next one easier, and it'll keep you out of the lava uh, more than with the the neon at this point but um, I still managed not to die during this so you know in the end it it worked out so but um, one trick you can do is uh, if you hang off the ledge 
uh, his attack nine times out of ten won't hit you. There may be that one random time where he somehow gets a hit on you while you're like hanging off the ledge. But for the most part, you can um, just avoid getting hit uh, just from hanging off the ledge. Uh, especially for the third part of this fight when uh, when you come back in here the third time, uh, he has angels kind of giving him a, a protective shield, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, the first time it happens, it's only two. The next time it's, I believe it's three, and then it's five. Um, and hanging off the ledge and shooting at them makes it uh, somewhat more easier than it normally would. <clears throat> um, and another thing is that when you're um, draining one of the crystals or the smoke, depending on which way you're going, if you get hit by him mid-drain, um, the the crystal or the smoke area will still be there so you can actually get like two drains out of uh, the same thing just by getting hit by him and it cancels out the drain but you still get enough of the energy and then you can just use it again like right after to get like a full uh, full power drain out of it so it does actually come in pretty handy and this is the point when he has the his angels giving him a shield but you can usually take them out with like one or two hits and then um, he should have he should be somewhat stunned long enough where you should be able to get um, your missiles off before before he has a chance of actually uh, hitting you so, um, so you see there I was trying to hang off the ledge, but the other annoying thing is that you'll, depending on how it will be, um, sometimes when you want to hang off the ledge, he may not grab the ledge. So in the process of doing that, I would hit forward on, on the stick. And he would hang, but it would already recognize the control move, so he would like just climb up onto the ledge. So you'll see that a couple times during this last part where I start to hang and then he climbs up, and it's just because the the game is very finicky at points when you want him to hang, like grab onto a ledge, and when he won't grab onto the ledge, so. But, for the most part, the rest of this video is pretty much the same process over and over again. And, um, like I said, you know, shooting at the angels when he breaks away um, does actually do damage to him. So, like right now, I could be shooting at the angels and his health would be almost gone by this point, really. But, like I said, like I just didn't know that was something that you could do. So, um, I'm just going to let the rest of this video play out since, you know, it's all pretty much the same. Um, once the fight's over, uh, I keep in the, the end where we choose the good, the good decision to uh, help Eugene. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in, uh, the next mission.